Ingredient lists. FAI customers simply need to know what exactly is in their food. So in order to be able to inform them, you need to know. Sometimes this is obvious. An orange is just an orange. But it gets more complicated when it is a packaged or processed ingredient, hidden allergen, or maybe even a raw food that you did not know can cause a reaction. During each pre-service meeting and before back-of-house prep, the ingredient lists should be discussed with the staff, highlighting any FAIs, special procedures, changes, and possible modifications. Where the list is kept and how to access it should also be communicated to the staff. In addition, staff need to be informed, front of house included, about what types of cross-contact prevention methods are used in the cooking methods. Back of house needs to know how to prepare the meal and front of house needs to know so they can inform the guest. Ingredient labels. Reading labels. Food labels differ from country to country and region to region. Here, we include the best practices for understanding food labels to help in preventing FAI reactions. Again, remember, please check with your manager about your company's policy on where ingredient lists are kept, how they are accessed, and how they are communicated with the public. Advisory labels. Phrases most often used are, may contain, and manufactured in a facility that also processes. In both of these circumstances, this product should be considered unsafe for your FAI guest, depending on their type of FAI. The may contain phrase usually means that there's a high probability that the FAI is present in that prepackaged product. Now that we've learned all about cross-contact prevention, it should be easy to recognize why the phrase manufactured in a facility that also processes is a problematic ingredient. Since this phrase implies that cross-contact between safe and unsafe ingredients is possible. Important notes. Number one, labeling requirements differ depending on government regulations. And number two, know your company's policy on who is accountable for checking ingredient labels and where they should be posted for accessibility. Beware ingredients. You have learned about hidden FAIs, what they are, and many ways they are present Pre-packaged products are most at risk when trying to identify hidden FAI ingredients, simply because you do not manufacture these products and food labeling laws are so diverse around the world. Here are a couple areas to be aware of. Alcohol products are not always required to list their ingredients on a label or even identify the presence of FAIs, but often they contain unsafe ingredients. For example, most beers are unsafe for celiac or gluten intolerant guests because they contain barley malt. Also, wine is unsafe for guests with a sulfite allergy. Beverages, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, and other food source ingredients can be very problematic because they contain flavorings and MSG that both contain hidden allergens. Always remember to apply the golden rule of never, number three, never guess. Always check the ingredient labels. FAI menus. These are special menus that have been prepared for your FAI guests that identify any priority allergens in menu items. These menus also identify special menu items that have been created for FAI guests and even possible modifications to unsafe dishes that can be made to accommodate your FAI guest. When it's presented to an FAI guest, it makes their experience more confident and happy. Good news for your customer, good news for you. Managing mistakes and reactions. Obviously, the goal is to prevent mistakes from ever happening, and your Dinaware certification, if used correctly every day, will help in that goal. However, mistakes do happen, and you need to know how to manage them. Catching a mistake. If an order is incorrectly prepared using unsafe ingredients or cross-contact occurs, it is best to catch that mistake before your guest consumes any of the meal. Even if the meal has already been delivered to the table and the error has been discovered before the guest begins to eat. Catch the mistake before a reaction can occur and correct it. Most importantly, remember to follow the golden rule of never, number five, never hide a mistake, not ever. Fixing a mistake. Now that you follow the golden rule of never, number five, and the guest has been informed that the mistake is being corrected, the only thing to do is to remake that order from the beginning using the links in the chain of communication. 
it's never acceptable to take out or replace any part of the dish. Remember, the tiniest amount of an ingredient can trigger a reaction, and there's no way to identify, isolate, and remove it safely. Just like there's no way you can fix a burnt flavor in a dish, there's no way to fix just part of an FAI order. You need to scrap it and start over. Period. Managing a reaction. This is the most stressful and dangerous situation that can occur when dealing with FAI guests. It is one that all involved want to avoid at all costs. If a reaction happens, your company's response depends on a number of factors. What are government regulations? What are your legal obligations? What are your company's policies? And how life-threatening is the reaction? In the event of a reaction, follow your company's emergency and incident procedures. Check with your manager if you do not know what they are. Most importantly, make sure you do know what they are before the next guest arrives at your workplace. Let's review communication. Correct verified ingredient lists are important because they identify allergens and hidden allergens. Advisory labels identify when an ingredient may contain a top 14 FAI or could have become unsafe due to cross contact. If a reaction happens, make sure you know the emergency response procedure.